Here now I'm sending their TS231P NAS. Has a dual core ARM CPU running at 1.7GHz and 1GB of DDR3 RAM to go with it. Also has 2 gigabit Ethernet ports and obviously being the 2 in the 231P, it is a dual bay NAS for 2, 2.5 two or 3.5 inch hard drives. Inside the box you get the power adapter, some Ethernet cables, the mounting screws and a quick start guide. And on the side, let's say the left hand side depending on which way you look at it, it also has some ventilation for uh, the fan in the back. On the front you do have a USB 3 port, obviously your two bays, a one touch copy button, power button and lots of LEDs. And when you do want to install a hard drive it's very simple. Just put four screws in the bottom and then slide it in and make sure that the arm on the front is uh, just closed and latched off quite uh, nicely. And that's it, that's your hard drives installed. On the back you have a 70mm fan, two gigabit ethernet ports, audio out, two USB 3 ports, DC in, a reset pinhole button uh, and a Kensington lock should you need to lock it up. When you do turn the NAS on you can see the status and LAN and USB and hard drive activity LEDs all blinking away depending on what you're using. And in terms of the software which is really the kind of meat of this uh, review as such, um, it's actually pretty awesome. It's actually pretty versatile too, if you want to know about speeds it's mostly going to be limited by either the PC that you're using at 1 gigabit normally uh, or limited by the hard drives at somewhere between 100 and 150 megabits per second. And otherwise, uh, the actual software is actually pretty well refined, which is nice to see too. There's plenty of options in the settings menu if you're someone who likes to tinker around. You can also see stuff like uh, the CPU and RAM utilization and all that sort of stuff. And you can click on the icon in the top right hand corner for the dashboard that I'll show you in a second. You can also change user profiles set up for Mac or Linux file sharing if you prefer. And you do have the App Center as well, which makes this a very versatile NAS. You can do stuff like WordPress if you want to run a website and you can use PHP my admin and all that sort of stuff to manage databases or you can just create a folder and share it with your network for media storage and you can even use the photo uh, station app or video station uh, or even music station to do uh, a few different bits and pieces of, sort of media sharing so yeah it's pretty awesome. So I've got to say I do quite like the NAS. Styling wise it's actually pretty good there's a small bit of uh, basically glossy plastic on the top but otherwise it's pretty fingerprint magnet free. It's also pretty easy to set up only has two bays so if you are looking for a large amount of storage this might not be for you but if you're looking in the kind of budget end of NASA's this is actually pretty reasonably priced at least at the time of filming anyway and with its dual gigabit ethernet it does mean that it's uh, pretty awesome for media streaming if you're going to be using lots of devices streaming at once and that sort of thing. Also uh, while the, uh, the UI can be a little bit laggy sometimes just running on that ARM CPU and the one gig of RAM um, it is actually overall pretty functional especially with a full app store suite it means that if you you know want to just keep it as a file server or even just you know file server and uh, media server and that sort of thing you can do but if you want to run it as a sort of small business NAS with WordPress and PHP my admin and all that sort of stuff that you can do as well there's a lot of versatility there which is actually pretty awesome otherwise in terms of scoring I think I'm going to go for a 4 for value money 4 for performance 4.5 for functionality and 4.5 for styling and I think I a uh, Tech Beauty score of 4 with a worth money award. It's actually a pretty awesome NAS and I do like how it, uh, you know, how it operates, the functionality that it has, the overall styling and all that sort of stuff so yeah it's pretty awesome. If you liked the video feel free to like it and subscribe and please do you, uh, check out the Amazon affiliate link in the description down below for this one or if you're buying anything else please do use the more general links, it does help me out and keeps me uh, doing these videos. Feel free to subscribe if you enjoyed the video and follow me on Facebook and Twitter for more update, updates uh, and all that sort of stuff and uh, yeah other than that uh, that's pretty much it, thanks for watching, don't forget to check out some of the other Nash reviews or anything else and we'll see you all in the next video.